As you can see, this part of the hair, it's very difficult to cut through and it's kind of complicated. On Photoshop, it's going to be very easy, but before I do that, I'll just cut some extra parts just to make things easier on Photoshop because it's very complicated and I'll choose my lasso tool just to cut through this. I'll choose or I'll hit Alt and Delete just how we did previously with the black and white thing. Now I'll hit Ctrl and D just to deselect that and again I'll just do this. I'll just go through it Alt, Delete, and then Control D. Mm, that's kind of good. So now we're gonna start with that. When I w there's another trick. It's very useful. When I choose the Zoom tool, I'll click r r the right click on the mouse and fit to screen. It brings it back. So that's kind of easier. Make sure this layer is selected and hit control and click to bring back my selection when the selection is on click here the rectangular marquee tool or M above there's an option is very useful that helps me through the hair and whatever so I'll click that now it's obviously taking me into a different or a new window where I get brushes and some options that I can control. When I click and brush through the hair or the part that is very difficult for me to find, oops, I'll undo that by Control Z and I'll click. It's a brush, so you can maximize or minimize and you can easily adjust the size and uh, hardness or spacing of that brush so let's just you see it's very difficult the laptop is having a very hard time to find that but we're gonna go slowly just by clicking and just like a brush tool just like I how I paint so yeah you see how it goes Wait, I'll gonna show you with this zoom tool. Here. You see how it is? It's really useful. It's very easy. I'll go back to my brushing tool. You see how it's really having a hard time to do it? But it's very useful. It's not cutting any hair. Now there's a small space, so I'm gonna minimize my brush a little bit. Let's just say, okay, this much is better. I don't want to mess it. If there's anything you didn't like, you can undo it by Control and Z. Let's just zoom in, let's see what's happening here. So now it's kind of better. I'll choose my zoom tool and fit this to the screen. Now if I'm happy with the results, I'll hit OK. But before that, if you want to adjust these settings, be my guest and try to do it. See how things are going. So 
before you hit OK, make sure you tick this and the output to new layer with layer mask. And hit OK. You see now I have this whole new layer with the perfect, nearly perfect. If you zoom in, you see the hair is really good. Um, I made a really good thing. So yeah, that's how it works.